Today's lesson is about transformation of the functions. First of all, let's talk about transformation rules. Remember, insider is a liar. So for this、uh, x, any number which is dealing with the、uh, x, we call that is a insider. It's always a liar. So when b between zero to one, we got to do horizontally stretch the by factor of one over b. When b is a greater than one, we got to do horizontally compress the by factor of one over b. When h is a positive, you will need to move to the left. When h is negative, you need to move to the right. Then any elements which is dealing with y will act、uh, normal way. When a is a、uh, greater than one, we got to do vertically stretch the by factor of a. When a is between zero to one, we got to do vertically compress the by factor of a. For this k positive going up, k is negative going down. For this a is a negative one, we got to do reflect across x axis. For b is negative one, we got to do reflection across a y axis. Now let's do some、uh, examples. For number one. The graph of y equals two to the negative x plus three power plus four can be obtained by shifting the graph of y equals two to the x power. First step for this negative sign, we got to do reflect across y axis. Second step, let's go to this three. Since it's dealing with the x, it's a liar. Plus three means move to the left three units. Then we go to this four. That's going up four units. For number two. The graph of y equals this can be obtained by shifting the graph y equals the cubic root of x. First step, talk about this one over five. That means the vertically compressed by factor of one over five. Then we go to this plus six. Second step, that's the left six units because insider is a liar. For this uh, minus uh, four, that's the third step, going down four units. For number three, the graph of y equals this can be obtained by shifting the graph of y equals natural log of x. First step, we deal with this negative sign that reflects across x axis. Then go to this、uh, three. Second step. That is a vertically stretched by factor of three. Then third step, we deal with this negative sign. That's a reflect across y axis. Then for this two, that's the fourth step. It is a horizontally. Compressed by factor of one over two. Last step, 
Let's go to minus five. Means go down five units. For question four, the point negative nine four is on the graph of the image function of f x, where g of x equals this one. What are the coordinates of the point on the graph of g of x? First of all, we need to write down the transformation according to the given function. First step from 1 over 2 means vertically compressed by factor of 1 over 2. Second step, let's go to this 3 means horizontally compressed by factor of 1 over 3. Remember, insider is a liar. So this 3 is a liar. Then go to plus 1. Let's move to the left, 1 unit. Minus 5. That means go down 5 units. Then you need to figure out which step is dealing with x and which step is dealing with uh, y. Horizontally compress, that means dealing with uh, x. And uh, move left uh, one unit, it's uh, dealing with uh, x. So this one is x. For step 1 and uh, 4, it's dealing with uh, y. Therefore, for second and a third step, horizontally compressed by factor of 1 over 3 means 1 over 3x. Then move to the left 1 unit, that means minus 1. First step, vertically compressed by factor of 1 over 2, that's dealing with uh, y, so it's 1 over 2y. Then go down 5 units, that means minus 5. In other words, from fx, go to g of x. The transformation rule will be xy on f of x. We go to g of x, like 1 over 3x minus 1 and uh, 1 over 2y minus 5. We are given the points on the graph of f of x, that's a negative 9 and a 4. Then we plug into these uh, transformation rules. You will get 1 over 3 times negative 9 minus 1. Then you get 1 over 2 times 4 minus 5. After calculation, you will get negative 4. And uh, negative 3 will be the coordinates of the points on the graph of g of x. For question 5, the point negative 7, 2 is on the graph of the image function r of x, where r of x equals this. What are the coordinates of original points on the graph of fx? Still, first step, you need to get the transformation from f of x to r of x. For r of x, equals negative 3 f of 2x plus 1 minus 5. This one is not a transformation form, so we change into f of 2x plus 1 over 2, then minus 5. Remember in your mind, the transformation function will be a of f of b x minus c 
then plus D. Transformation rule will be the first step. Reflect across x axis. Second step. That's a vertically stretched by factor of four, three. For third step. That's a horizontally compressed by factor of one over two. Fourth step. Let's go to this one. Move to the left one over two unit. Then the last step. Go down five units. Then you need to check which step is dealing with x and which step deal with y. For this two dealing with x, horizontally compressed by one over two, that means one over two x. Then move to the left to one over two units means minus one over two. For y. The first step, second step, and also the fifth step deal with y. Reflect across x axis. That means、uh, negative y. Then vertically stretch by factor of、uh, three means multiply by three. Then go down five units means minus five, which means negative three y minus five. Now we can write down. The transformation rule from f of x go to r of x. Suppose this is x y, then you will get one over two x minus one over two, and then you do negative three y minus five. According to the given information, negative seven two is on the graph of. R of、uh, x. That means、uh, this part is a negative seven. Here's two. Therefore, we can set up one half、uh, x minus one half equals negative seven, and、uh, negative three y minus five equals to two. Solving these two equations, multiply by two both sides. You will get the x minus one equals negative fourteen. Therefore, x equals a negative thirteen. This part I add a five both sides. Negative three y equals seven. Then divide by negative three. You will get the negative seven over three. Therefore, the final answer will be negative thirteen and a negative seven over three. Will be the original coordinates on the f of x.